All right, uh, I haven't done a what's in the bag and why kind of a video. I've had a number of people ask me to. So I'm gonna show you what I'm using now and kind of go over why I'm using it. Um, uh, one of the things I wanna make really clear is that pro gear is not gonna make you a pro. Uh, it won't prevent you from being one. That's about it. So if you wanna get better, it's better to focus on your game than looking at your gear. So <clears throat> uh, with that said, uh, let's just start off with the, the biggest piece of equipment, which are my pads. Um, still using the Warrior G3s. Uh, I use them for a while now. I got one of the first uh, <clears throat> custom sets on one of the first batches. Not the first guy, but uh, pretty early on. And uh, they're still they're still 100%. Uh, There's nothing, uh, no missing stitches or anything. Um, I love them. Uh, I've, I've been using Warriors for a while. I guess in a sense I'm biased towards them because they've been really good to me. So beyond that, I don't, I don't know what to say. I've had people complain that the, I'm Warrior biased, but I do like the stuff. So it is what it is. Um, everyone likes to use their own certain types of equipment, and everyone has their own reasons. My reasons are that it's extremely light. They uh, they drop and present really well. Um, I'm into all the little features on here. Uh, yeah, I mean, as, as far as my setup goes, this is 100% stock. I didn't get really custom anything besides the colors. It's a 36 plus 1.5. Um, the one thing you'll see in some of my, my, my on-ice review, I went over how my strapping is. So if you look here, um, by default, this strap goes through this piece here. Like it wraps around in there. I don't have it in there. I feel like this can hit the ice. Your pad can seal on the ice a little bit faster and a little bit cleaner without having to be quite as flexible um, if you don't put it through that spot. Um, I was a little worried because this is, I don't know if you can see this, but probably can hear it. That is Velcro there. Um, over the time, over time, I mean, over, yeah, there's barely any scuffing on this piece here. There's like a little bit of feathering, but nothing serious and nothing that I don't think is going to last five, six, seven years. I, I'm not worried about that. Um, I, when I lace these or when I strap these up, uh, usually I put it kind of matching right where this piece here goes to match right on there. Maybe a little bit more snug, but nothing more than that. Um, let's see on the straps, the elastic straps themselves on my heel strap, I go very all the way to the last, um, piece here. Looks like that's wearing away a little bit, so I might need to order some new straps here. Um, nothing too crazy, though. <clears throat> um, and then on the toe strap, I just left stock, and I do I do use these elastic toes. Um, on my G2s and my G1s, I had a sliding toe bridge, which I liked a lot. But they made a little bit of changes. Uh, they made some change on these where it's not as tense on your, or there's not as much tension on your foot. Um, I've had a couple knee injuries. And in the previous models, the, the elastic, even just any little pull on it, I don't, I don't like. So that's why I was using the sliding toe bridges. But these, um, these worked out really well. I don't, I don't know what they changed or how much they changed, but uh, it, it's enough to make me use it, and I love using it. The, the one thing that I recommend doing is if you do buy these pads, <clears throat> instead of putting the straps, uh, using these straps to carry them, I get a tiny bungee cord like this. And there's these little hooks there, and I just go, I go through that, and I throw it over my shoulder along with my bag. Um, the reason I do that is because I don't want to have extra stretch on these. Instead of having them really stretched out, bouncing on your shoulder, um, using letting the bungee cord do the work. This isn't going to change. This isn't elastic here where this ring is um, that you hook onto. So uh, yeah, that's what I do. So pretty basic setup. You can probably buy these. Essentially, what I have. At the uh, shop, your local hockey shop, if there's a pro model, I mean, other than the fact that I have cool colors, well, what I think is cool, um, you're going to get the same pad if you get the pro one. So um, I don't know much about the seniors. I have not used them. I've heard people say they're as close as, uh, to a pro model <clears throat> as the brands get, but that's, I mean, that's not, that's hearsay. So I can't speak on that. Um, but I can say I really like these pads. I've always kind of liked Warrior stuff uh, since Pete Smith hopped on board. So 
I mean, call it bias or call what you want. I do like them a lot, and I know that there's a lot of other people I've recommended to pick them up that uh, have liked them as well. So if you do have issues getting used to them, I do recommend, again, separate these two. It's hard to drop this down. Uh, in my in my mind, I don't know if it's my flexibility is pretty low or what, but uh, I, I felt like this benefited in my game a lot just to, to do that. I had to do that on my previous one, uh, my G2s as well, which are still in fantastic condition. Um, I have them around. I don't know if I'm going to use them for outdoor ice or what. But Yeah, those are the pads. <clears throat> um, my helmet, uh, I've got two helmets right now. This is my uh, Gilby Design helmet. It's an old iTech uh, 961 that I got off of Craigslist that I got painted. Um, it's kind of a gem to find. I mean, there's a fair amount of them out there. There's a lot of 961s in circulation. So if you can find one that's just kind of beat up on Craigslist, you can get them for cheap. I bought, I think I bought this mask, the mask itself, for 160 bucks. The paint job was a killer deal from Gilby. And then I use um, Olympia Composites uh, cage. It's kind of like the Hiller cage here. Um, right now it got a bit of a dent in it, um, but that took like a year. I've had, I have Bauer cages. I have a huge stack of them in my room that have all been dented and they dent fast. So this is way better steel. And you can see uh, on the eyes here that, that didn't cave in. It was uh, some side shots there. So if you've seen my videos recently and noticed that I've not been wearing the Stars helmet, that's why. Um, I've just been lazy and not gotten out there to get it taken care of. But, uh, yeah, I, I love this mask. I love the design. It's kind of a uh, mix between Meloche and uh, Donnie Beaupre. So um, hopefully you'll see me wearing this again soon. I get off my butt and get that new cage fitted up. So now we're actually going to dig into my bag. I just got done playing hockey a little bit ago. So... <clears throat> um, gloves... Uh, again, Warrior, uh, this is an unmodified standard G3 Pro Glove. So, like, the videos you see where people are talking about modding them, I don't know why. Uh, to be honest, nothing against the people that have it done. Um, maybe they add more to the palm for pro protection or whatever, but I play against, like, fresh out-of-the-show pros at a fair frequency. And, I mean, in the summer, I play against kids going to D1 schools or where I at D1 schools. And that's me, not me pumping my own tires. It's, I face some pretty good shots, and I don't really get stingers. Every once in a while, if you get something flat, just like any game-ready uh, glove, you'll get a stinger. It'll sting. But I've not had, like, holy crap, my hand feels like it's broken ever. Um, the back of the gloves protection is pretty good. Again, I'm a beer leaguer, so it's not like there's a lot of people hacking at me super hardcore. Um, I've had a couple pucks hit off of there when I'm kind of posting up, and I've not felt anything bad. But, yeah, that's as, as, as much as I can say about it. Um, really love the glove. It's the best glove I've used since, like, the one I've felt most comfortable with since high school. Um, way better than the G2 glove. I, I will say that the G2 glove felt kind of marshmallowy, And, uh, like, the, the, the closure was never super snappy. Whereas you can see, this is just, so, I don't know. I, I, when I catch things with it, when I'm at my, when I'm actually tracking well, things land right in there and they, they stay in there. Um, my tracking is not always the best. So, uh, I do love it. It covers up well. It, it, I can play the puck well, the, the groove for the stick. Um, not that I'm a good puck player, but it, it's not why I'm not a good puck player. So, it's a great glove. Love it. Um, it's weird to see them go for sale where people don't, uh, on GGSU and whatnot, where people are trying to get rid of them, that kind of blows my mind. Uh, blockers, pretty much a blocker. Does a good job. It's got a good balance, um, good protection. Uh, I've not had anything right up my hand really that bad. Um, there's a couple little pads in there, even if your 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 finger gets pretty deep in there. But uh, there's plenty of adjustment. I don't know if you can see that, but there's like you can adjust where your hand sits on there, which is kind of neat. I don't. I didn't tinker with it at all. I, I don't mess with the straps much at all. I, that's as much as I have it velcroed in there. So great blocker, uh, protects well, doesn't hinder me when I'm playing the puck. Uh, yeah, it's easy to clean, so that's kind of nice. In the uh, summer, every once in a while, I'll, I'll pull the actual on the previous ones. Wow, I spit everywhere. On the previous ones, I've uh, I've unvelcroed them, cleaned them. 
and then that's about it in the summertime. So <clears throat> that's that. Uh, well, here's a jersey. The Reebok Edge jerseys, um, not the premieres. This is an Edge one. Notice how like the arms are bat wings. Um, I don't wear these to look like I'm some fantasy camp guy. I actually just like them. They're a little heavier than some um, jerseys, but I like how they, they contour the, the chest protector so it just doesn't look like you're some cheater out there, basically. They, they, they play well, and they don't, uh, they don't bat wing. I, I mean, part of me doesn't like seeing that. Uh, it feels like cheating because I know I've caught pucks like that before when I was using one of the premier ones back in the day. But I have a few edge jerseys. I, I got a Boston one. This is a Stars one. Um, I don't know if you watched my old videos, but those are Reebok ones. Um, so yeah, edge edge jerseys are cool. You can get them for pretty cheap. Um, they're still out there online here and there. So uh, let's see, cup. I got a CCM cup. Um, the Ritual cup that I had, kind of like that weird kind of fan out there. It made it hard for me to tuck my jer my uh, chest protector into my breezers or pants. Um, sorry, Minnesota, they say breezers. That's what I'm talking about when I say pants. Um, made it hard to tuck. So I, I went to one of these. Uh, it's, it's a good cup. It's uh, I've never gotten really seriously hurt on it with it on. So, um, yeah, what can I say? It's a cup. <clears throat> Let's see. Pull these out. Um, Ritual X Pro pa or, uh, knee guards. Um, I had some Passau knee guards. I think if I had a more open uh, knee block or knee area, um, I, I might be using the Passau ones. I had the Gen 1s and the Gen 2s. The Gen 2s were m much better. The padding was a lot easier on your knees if you, if you play a ton. Um, and I would have used those if I was maybe in like a Reebok or CCM pad. But uh, with these, I, I felt these kind of matched a little better. Um, this knee landing on these, I mean, I know a lot of people have already seen these before or have talked about them plenty, but the landing uh, cushion here is fantastic. Um, I don't get uh, the bruises on my knees when I hit the ice. Uh, in previous ones I, I had, the Gen 1 Passaos, I felt like I was getting bruises. Um, I had some P2 Reeboks that otherwise were great, but every once in a while I get bruises on my knees if I was playing like like four or five times a week, um, and then they'd stick around for a while. But uh, not that I play four or five times a week that frequently. But um, I love these; they're great. Uh, I tighten it to the max on the bottom. I don't have huge legs. I do one here, or I, I kind of just match the edge there. So they rotate well, and they snug up a fair amount here. Um, and then the waistband. So what I did with this is I actually cut, I don't know if you can see it, but I cut this piece here that where that you tie in uh, skate laces, and I put um, this, re or this Vaughn garter belt. Um, I put those through where you would normally lace through. So I just cut and made holes for this. Um, these interfere a little bit with my my uh, warrior pants, breezers, um, <clears throat> but uh, nothing significant. It's like I notice it when I'm putting them on, but when I'm starting to play, it, it's nothing. So um, I like these a lot. Great protection. Um, if you're wearing like a pant that's too, a little, like pretty short, you may, this may not reach all the way to the top of it. Um, my G3 ones that came with the pads did not with my different pants I was using at the time. Um, since switching back to my, my warrior pants, they've been good. So, uh, yeah. Solid setup, easy modifications, two little clips with the scissors, or three clips with the scissors on each side, and you can get this Vaughn uh, garter belt around it, and then you have something easy to deal with versus uh, tying in. And another thing I might want to mention is if you use these and you tighten this stuff up too tight around your waistband, um, I noticed that I get a lot of fatigue if I'm wearing stuff that's kind of fighting my back, like things around my waist. So if I'm wearing suspenders super tight, or if I'm wearing these when I had these cinched up a lot higher, like a much more snug, instead of letting it kind of ride lower like that, um, I would get this lower back fatigue and some hip fatigue. It's like things are pulling on, on your body that don't need to be pulling. So if you're noticing yourself getting like hip 
and lower back fatigue for whatever reason. Like you, if you're better in shape or if you're in better shape than you, than, uh, than what it seems like you should be experiencing. Like kind of, I was, I, I loosened that stuff up and the difference between today's skate and two days ago when I had stuff too tight was night and day. Like it didn't, I didn't notice it. My lower back's totally fine. And, uh, my hips didn't bother me at all as far as, um, pressure goes during the skate. So it's a little easy tip. I don't know if that's something uh, anyone's experiencing, but super tight suspenders, super tight, uh, garter, uh, maybe causing some unnecessary fatigue on your back and hips or knees or whatever. So, um, going back into the breezers or the pants, sorry, everyone else that's not from Minnesota or referred to Ohio. Um, I'm using, went back to my warrior pants. Um, I was using some Bowers I got on Craigslist and I think they're actually the newer standard size. Um, I'll pull those over here in just a second, but these are my warrior ones. Um, nice and barely. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can, I can tuck into them well. The hip flexibility is great. They square up well. They actually have really good protection in the inner thigh. So I was getting some stingers on the inner thigh, um, trying to close up for five hole shots, or even when I'm kicking out and things get deflected. They stung pretty bad. And there was a very, very, there's very minimal protection on those ones. And I don't know if this is the same one that like Price and Montoya were just talking about. I don't know if you've seen that article, but they were talking about, we should send NHL pictures of our bruises on our inner thighs because of these new ones. Um, but these, you, I mean, I wouldn't, I won't get them because the plastic actually wraps around in, in there and it's a solid piece. So, um, because these are longer, the other ones I was wearing were shorter. Um, I can create that kind of air gap between my thigh, my thigh guard and the, the, the pant itself. So if your pant is just resting flat against your leg, shots are not going to really, I mean, it's a, it's a plate and it'll stop and there's some foam padding in there. But unless you have that, that kind of pocket of air, uh, it's going to sting pretty bad if you're taking hard shots. So uh, that's probably really obvious to a lot of you. But, I mean, I, it's something where uh, I was kind of trying to use a smaller breather so I could move around a little cl cleaner. And um, I was running into that on occasion, um, especially with my the ones that came with this. The, the, the X Ritual X knee pads were a little bit longer on the top. So they closed the gap a little bit, but there's still times where I was stretching out and it was straight pant on thigh, uh, puck impacts, and that does not dissipate well and it caused some bruising, which sucks because you don't, you know, you pay for pro, pro equipment and they're designed for you to be wearing those uh, pieces, but uh, it, didn't, it didn't mesh well. So I went back to these. Um, they're, they feel very not legal as far as their size goes. Um, I would be totally fine wearing NHL legal gear um, when these start rolling out next season. I don't know. I don't know if they can get me those or not. But um, the only thing I, I kind of run into with this is that this kind of floats around a lot. If you look at the Reactor 9000s, um, it's a more stiff piece. So you can kind of tuck and have a little bit more confidence this isn't going to come out. So sometimes this flops out and my, my jersey uh, is like resting out there. So um, just to show you the difference between the other ones I was wearing. <clears throat> so here's the, uh, this is a size large too, but this is a 1S Bauer. Um, and you can see that, like that's moving around, which fine, but it's like, that's not enough. And that's not enough for a hard shot. If you're going to take that in the thigh, um, especially since these kind of, you know, I mean, that's right there. So it's pretty easy to get bruised up. Um, and if you look at the size, like, look at that. Like, this is a, this is a goalie breed. Like, this is a goalie pant. I can fit this pant and this pant. So that kind of tells you the difference in size. And this is, I mean, this is an extra large, but I know Warrior doesn't make the thigh width any less on the, on the large versus the extra large. So <clears throat> I do like these pants out, the 1S ones. I wish they had more protection here, um, and I'd be fine using this width um, if it was just a tad bit longer so I could create, like 100% of the time, create that pocket so that I'm not hitting a, a puck straight to the, the thigh. 
Um, what I do like a lot about these is they breathe really well and they're really light. They're really light. Um, this, this kind of like hex pattern, like this honeycomb, probably can't see it too well, but the honeycomb stuff breathes out and it lets the weight be a fair amount less, I imagine. Um, I don't know about its durability, but uh, no, they're, they're good pants. It's just that that protection there is kind of lacking. And for me, I, I got a killer deal on these, so that's why I bought them. Um, maybe having them a little bit longer would have helped me. And maybe they'll implement some of that stuff into the uh, into the newer reactor line or whatever. But this this is uh, I, I, if this is what the pros are wearing, I understand why they're really worried because this would hurt like a son of a bitch if you took a Shea Weber slap shot and it redirected into your thigh just wrong, <clears throat> and you weren't wearing the right gear. So uh, yeah, or your pants, love them. I, I really do like the one S pants. I just wish there was more protection. It's gonna get you by for beer leagues. I mean, honestly, even up to A, it's you get a bruise, and that's playing hockey. So, <clears throat> let's see here. Uh, uh, what's next? Um, some my Under Armour, not Under Armour. So we got the Bauer uh, full pants, and that's all I wear under my my. Uh, that's all I wear. I don't wear socks. Like I don't wear the hockey socks. Um, just wear these. Uh, they're the compression fit. I can't remember if these are top tier premium ones or not. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if they are because I think the other ones had like the stock Velcro on them. They're good. Um, nothing too special about them. Uh, this is a CCM shirt. It's a short sleeve shirt. Um, the reason I bought it is because there's kind of like a mesh. I don't know if you can see that. Like a thinner mesh on the back. I sweat a ton. So I figured I'll find the one that seems to breathe the most, and this was the one I saw in the shop. So that's that. <clears throat> um, chest protector. This is the Pacel Pro Pack chest protector. Um, I bought it. It's going to be over a year now. Um, and I had the previous model, the Gen 1. Uh, Pro model, not, there wasn't any Pro Pack, like true Pro Pack model at the time, um, which I loved. It was a good balance of everything from um, weight, protection, and uh, mobility. Um, I was getting the occasional stinger, and because I play with pretty decent people, um, I wanted to get the top of the line stuff. So I did buy this. Um, I love it. Um, I, I, I don't really get stingers. I've, I've maybe felt one bicep shot on a, a really hard clapper, like 12 feet out. Um, and that wasn't, I mean, that barely left an, a bruise. So uh, it's great, um, just everywhere. Like the, the protection here, this, this soft uh, chest piece kills rebounds pretty well. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. I, the only thing I kind of, like this piece here, this kind of curls up in, a bit. I don't know if there's, I think they make an option where you might be able to make it uh, flat here. I don't, don't yell at me, Tim, if, if, if you guys don't, but uh, tucking sometimes becomes an issue with that. But honestly, I, I, I don't run into it a lot. Sometimes I have to just jam down. And it's fine. Um, but yeah, it's, it's an awesome piece. Uh, I've used Browns. I've used TPS. Uh, I had a Simmons 99 series chest protector, um, a Pasal, and this I, I love this thing. It, it really protects me. I have no doubt uh, when I'm taking shots. Um, there's no flinching. Like I'm not worried about something hurting ever. So uh, when you can take that thought out of your game, you just become more uh, confident. And I mean, it's nice. It's nice to square up at a guy teeing up right in front of you and not worrying about it. it is it going to hurt me? And when you don't flinch, you're going to be able to be more ready for your, your rebounds and whatnot. So, um, yeah, it's a great it's a great setup. Got the uh, name on the back and everything. So, there you go. Uh, what's next? Uh, my other backup helmet, which I'm using right now, is a another 961. Um, and as you can see. There you go. There's why I don't like buying Bauer cages. Look at both sides of that. That's dense. Those are dense. One of those came in on the first skate. Um, oh, yeah. All my stuff has Maltese padding in it. 
I just like it. It breathes really well. Um, one thing I run into every once in a while is I'll have to re-glue it. I don't know if you can see, but that kind of comes undone, and I'll just take some Gorilla Glue. Um, the more recent set comes with the, their own glue, which I've seen work better than the Gorilla Glue stuff. I don't have it in front of me. I thought I might. Um, the sweatband I use in them. I almost broke a wine bottle. Uh, the, the sweatband I use in them is one of the monster uh, sweatbands. They're kind of weird. Um, at first, it's kind of odd because they get really crunchy. You'll get them in the mail and it'll be like kind of wet and they keep them wet in a wet plastic bag. But uh, they they become like crusty, crunchy almost. Um, the idea behind them is that it feels kind of cool on your head. And that's nice and all, but the, the, what I like is that it just absorbs a lot. Like I don't get sweat running into my head, into my eyes during the skates. Um, maybe in a long scale, I'll have to like take my helmet off and I press my finger hard against the, the forehead piece and it'll kind of, well, sweat will drain out. But uh, just one thing to do when you're in between skates, and especially if you're like using Gorilla Glue or if you're noticing that your helmet foam is coming pulled off, uh, this will dry up and it pulls inward. So I end up just putting a vertical on my on my uh, helmet, and then that way it doesn't. If it dries up and starts curling in, it's not pulling your foam uh, inward if you're having glue issues, which I do on occasion. <clears throat> uh, the last piece here. Oh no, I have two pieces. So the neck guard. Um, I'm just using this Vaughn Carbon Enhanced Performance neck guard. Uh, it saved me a couple times in my last three skates. I've gotten nailed on the neck. Um, I don't think it's showing yet, but we got a couple of good shots in the collarbone. Um, oddly enough, it hit like right between here, but thankfully it's nothing serious. Um, it could have been, I honestly think it could have been serious if I was not like it. Um, I don't wear a dangler right now. Um, I have in the past. I like them. It's just that they're kind of a pain if the tie, the thing comes untied. Or when they shatter, you're sitting there with a sharp piece of plastic, and unless there's a scissors on the bench, which is usually not in a beer league, you're stuck playing with that, and that's kind of spooky and super annoying. Um, more annoying than spooky. So um, I use this now. Uh, it's nice and light. It breathes pretty well. Uh, yeah, I like it. So, uh, and then the last piece are my skates. Um, I bought VH Customs. Um, I got the Bauer four millimeters with a cowling cutout. Um, I got the four millimeters because on my previous three millimeter skates, mine would make this weird like howling, chirping noise. Um, and I don't think that was unique to just my skates because if you watch old, there's an old winter classic video of Lundquist in the net. Um, and you can hear it go, ooh, ooh, ooh. I, had, I had guys that I was skating with thinking that I was making seal noises to throw them off before they shot. Which I mean, yeah, funny, weird goalies, but honestly, I don't, I don't need something stupid like that distracting me or or and anyone else. Just the, the vibration, or whatever, kind of was there too. So when I went to Formula Mayor, that's why. I don't know, no, no other reason beyond that. Um, the cutout here was done by VH. Uh, they have like a nice plastic piece here. I think in the very early ones when they did this, the plastic of the uh, the toe piece wasn't all the way there, but it is now. So, I mean, if you ever see an early VH skate that has like weird leather pulling off here, it's because it's the early one. This one is hard plastic on all the contact point and it's, I mean, there's minor stuffs, but it's nothing at all. So I got custom skates because I was having a lot of ankle issues. Um, the Bowers I had did not uh, really kind of wrap around my right foot and uh these are custom i mean they're built for your foot if you want to like if you look at that like you can kind of see that it's kind of weird an odd shape almost it's because it's built for your foot so um i love them um i i will I, hopefully these are my last pair i may end up getting one pieces down the line if i get an itch and have some extra money burning up in my wallet but i do like this heel uh piece here the one pieces have kind of like a circle and it's a it's a, uh, <clears throat> a pretty narrow 
piece of carbon between it, so I think I could rip away at the straps if you were to put a plate, like uh, lace through them or strap through them, whereas these don't. So I like, I still like to heel strap. I know a lot of people want a lung twist strap, and that's 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 fine. But I it's, I've played for since my sec second grade, and I'm 34 now. So um, my blades are step steel. Um, I, I I've had the Bauer blades in the past, and they just don't seem to hold the sharpening quite as long. As I understand, there's newer steel that they've started to release that's better. Um, I've just had better luck with step steel. I, I like it um, a lot. And I, I buy it for every pair of skates I, I, I end up with. So, um, yeah, I, I guess I don't know what else to say. There's the Lundquist strap on here. Um, I, I put it on, I asked for it to be on there. I don't think it costs any more at the time. Um, I used it a little bit, but I just ended up wanting to have it on the heel. Uh, the one thing I also like about having a full cowling here is that I back into the post a lot and I back into it pretty hard. And this is nothing about me not trusting DH's. Um, carbon uh, composite uh, setup. I just like the idea of having a plastic piece to protect the heel in case the resins eventually get just too beat up from my foot hammering the piping. I probably shouldn't be playing like that. Um, but yeah, it's just nice to have like, okay, well, instead of me, maybe potentially, not likely, I'm not saying there's any risk there, but uh, instead of Say I bash into it super hard and it's an ice cold rink and I left my skates in the car and everything's fragile. Uh, instead of breaking a skate, I break a hundred dollar cowling or hundred dollar per pair of cowling and we can just cut that up, carve that up and replace it. So, um, yeah, that's a lot of rambling about my equipment. Sorry. Uh, Bauer socks, nothing special. Uh, and I'm currently using a warrior bag. It's kind of nice. Uh, I'm maybe ordering, or I've just, told Tim that I want to order one of the style backpack bags. Um, so that'll end up coming in. I don't know if you want to review on that or not, but there you go. It's uh, about a 30 minute video of me rambling about my equipment. If you have any questions, um, comments, suggestions for other stuff in other of my videos, things you want to hear from me, things you don't want to hear from me. If you think this sucks and was pointless, uh, sorry about wasting a half hour of your time. If you loved it, cool. Let me know. Uh, yeah. So, Hopefully this helped and uh, keep stopping pucks, huh?